Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about PayPal and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on one of my other videos and that is how do you send Bitcoin from your PayPal to another wallet? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to send your Bitcoin from your PayPal to another wallet? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you run an online business like I do and some of your contractors like to get paid with Bitcoin. So you want to go ahead and pay them through your PayPal. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. Before we go any further though, I want to let you know two different things. One, this is assuming that you already have the other wallet's Bitcoin address. So usually if you're going to be paying your contractors, they will supply that to you. And it's going to be a long string of alphanumeric. When you get that, don't type anything in, just copy and paste it. And that way, if there's an issue, it's going to be their fault, not yours. Also, the second thing I want to let you know is that for a few months, I did not have the option to send Bitcoin from my PayPal to another wallet. However, a lot of viewers did. So I messaged PayPal and asked them why I didn't have that function available. They let me know that it's not available to every PayPal account and that they're slowly rolling it out to all accounts. So depending on the city, the state, uh, the government, the country that you have your PayPal account set up in, the rules are different. So you might not have access to that yet. However, funny thing is after I emailed PayPal and messaged with them a few different times, the function became available. So if you don't have some of the steps that I'm going to go over today, make sure that you message PayPal customer service and ask them to go ahead and open up that feature because that might just do the trick. So like I said, it's all handled here in the PayPal app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. But I'm going to open my PayPal app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened my PayPal app. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to send your Bitcoin from your PayPal to another wallet, you need to click on the finances button down here on the bottom left. It looks like a little chart. Okay. So once you click there, you will see this menu here at the top balance savings and crypto. You need to click on the crypto button. Once you click there, you will see all the different cryptocurrencies that you have associated with your PayPal account. But today we're talking about Bitcoin. So you want to click on this button here, Bitcoin. It's an orange logo. Once you click there, you're going to see the historical price chart for Bitcoin. You can see it's trading for about $27,000 right now. Now, remember earlier, I said that you might not have these functions because PayPal hasn't it opened it up to you. If that's the case, you're not going to see this button, this directional arrows. If you don't see this button, then you need to message PayPal and ask them to go ahead and open up this feature. So in order to transfer your Bitcoin from PayPal to another wallet, click on these directional arrows. Once you do that, you're going to see this pop up. And today we are sending Bitcoin or BTC. So you want to click on this paper airplane looking thing. Okay, so here is where you can go ahead and paste in the Bitcoin wallet address, the external wallet that you're sending your Bitcoin to. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and use my Coinbase account. Let me jump over to my Coinbase account real quickly. Okay, so here is my Bitcoin account right here inside Coinbase. And I'm going to click on receive. So once again, the Bitcoin external wallet address, you're probably going to get provided that from either your client or from your vendor or your contractor, whatever the case is. But if you're sending it to yourself, you need to find it inside of the other wallet. This is how you find it in Bitcoin. It's right here. And I'll just click on copy. And that's pretty much it inside my Coinbase. Let me jump back over to PayPal. Okay, so here I am back in my PayPal. So with the Bitcoin wallet address, like I said, you don't want to go ahead and type everything in because if you get one digit wrong, it's going to go to the wrong address and then that Bitcoin is gone forever. So only want to paste the address in right here. Okay, so I went ahead and pasted in the, the external Bitcoin wallet address right here. And then you're going to see this blue button pop up down here with the address. Make sure it's correct and then click on the blue button. Next, you get to choose how much Bitcoin you want to send from your PayPal to an external wallet. So I believe the minimum is going to be around $28, but that's really going to depend on the market price for Bitcoin. So we'll just type in 27. And then, yeah, it looks like it needs to be 0.001 Bitcoin minimum. So that's actually a little bit more than $27. We'll just do 28. All right. So once you've chosen how much Bitcoin you want to send from PayPal to another wallet, click on the blue next button. Once you do that, a review screen will pop up and then you're going to see how much Bitcoin you're sending. Also, you will be able to notify yourself what the network fee is and then the estimate and delivery. Every time that I send Bitcoin from PayPal to an external wallet, they usually let me know it's about two hours for it to be received. And finally, you will know exactly what the total amount of Bitcoin that will be withdrawn from your PayPal account. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to send Bitcoin from your PayPal to an external wallet, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.